The NFL draft just passed. Yeah. And if we're talking about quarterbacks, there were a lot of good quarterbacks coming out of that class. <laughs> Love. You had Joe Burrow, Tua Tagovailoa, Jordan Love, Jacob Eason. Say to his last name again. Tagovailoa. You did that, bro. Can you do it? You did that. I did do it. To Tagovailoa. Let's call him Tua T. To a T. I like that. To a T. To a T. <laughs> Dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out. Hey, that's I'm a wrap, out. folks. <laughs> to a T. I like that. That's cool. Oh, oh man. Dude, that was. I like that. Uh, that was good. Who do you think is going to have the best career out of these rookie quarterbacks? Do you think it's going to be Joe Burrow, the number one overall pick? To a T. Jordan Love also came out of nowhere. Then you've got the uh, former Georgia quarterback, Jake Fromm and Jacob Eason. He used to go to Georgia as well. We ain't worrying about Jake Fromm. Oh, we already know our answer about Jake Fromm. So we're just going to leave it out of the conversation. (laughs) Come on, man. We ain't worrying about Jake Fromm in the NFL right now. Oh, man. He could could have been amazing with the Patriots. But, uh, yeah, your thoughts. I say say Joe Burrow is going to have – a really, really good man. season. Yep. I, I don't I don't I believe in two a T. But considering that he just came off of those injuries and now is going straight into the NFL, I think that's gonna have more of a mind mm-hmm. mind effect on him than anything else. Um yeah. but I think Joe is just gonna come out and start slinging that thing out there, bro. Just doing his thing. Joe Burrow, I like him, but I only saw one year where he was relevant and was a Heisman. Now, that could mean something. That couldn't mean anything at all. I mean, statistically, the best college quarterback mm-hmm. uh, probably ever. But I think Tua Tagovailoa could surprise a lot of people. Yeah, I, I believe in him, and I want to see him prosper. I want to see him do well. But I just don't know how, how I feel about, like, if I'm answering this question, who do I think is going to have the best season? Him coming off of those injuries, not finishing his college career, mm-hmm. I, I just don't know. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for those injuries, I would have a different answer. I also think that Tua isn't injury prone. Now, if you were to injure your knee multiple times, someone like Will Fuller on the Texans, like injured your knee two, three, four times, and yeah, you're injury prone because that's just a weak part of your body. That's your fault. Like, yeah. that's, that's on you. Mm-hmm. But if it's just multiple injuries that are separate, like for instance, Tua with his hip, you know, and then other injuries that he had on top of that, that's not okay. Same thing with Carson Wentz. He injured his back. He got a concussion. That's not in the same place. That's just tough luck. Which Carson Wentz is the fifth highest paid quarterback in NFL anyway. Deservingly so, <laughs> I will say. I love Carson Wentz. Just, Is he a, the fifth best quarterback? Probably not, but but he's I, the I, fifth highest paid. But Tua is that missing piece. You've got Devontae Parker at wide receiver. You've mm-hmm. got a running back now in Jordan Howard. You've got a great tight end in Mike Gesicki. And I think this team is set up to succeed. I think the Dolphins and the um, – Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in for a great season this next year. That's what I'm going to pick on Madden. Oh, my gosh. This year it was the Ravens. Next year it's going to be the Bucs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. That's, that's Anthony's favorite team right now. So That's how it goes. Oh, man. Uh, man, why are we talking about Jalen? Why are we talking about Jalen? Wentz and Jalen is like Breeze and Hill. Good that's comparison. going to be crazy. Good comparison. Now, on, on that topic, do you think Jalen Hurts was taken to be an insurance policy for Carson Wentz? Or is he going to be used like Taysom Hill? And the Eagles have nothing but faith in Carson Wentz. Um, well, I'm, I, I, def, I would say that Hurts is more than an insurance policy. I, I think that they have something, some plans for Jalen to try to mix things up kind of thing. I I think it's going to be really cool to see, cool to watch. He's he's a good utility player, a running back, a wide receiver maybe, tight end, quarterback. Yeah, they'll they'll utilize him. Yeah, I love Jalen Hurts a lot. Uh, And then uh, Jordan Love was someone that came out of nowhere, uh, came up in draft boards after the 
the year that he had at Utah State. Yeah. Taken by the Green Bay Packers, which is a little bit of drama in Green Bay. Uh, Jacob Eason, taken by the Colts, uh, and then Jake Fromm by the Bills. He fell. He fell all the way to the fifth round. It was crazy because the Patriots had the opportunity. They had from the fact that from fell to the fifth round is, you know, bogus. I think. I think he should have been taken before that. Mm. But the Patriots had pick number one fifty nine in their hands in the fifth round, and they could have taken Jake from, but they decided to pass on him. And then I believe seven or eight picks later, the Bills eventually got him because they were like, "All right, he's fell. Let's just get him." But the Patriots have Stidman. Are you a Stidman believer? I'm. I am an Auburn fan. <laughs> War Eagle for all those who don't know. Okay. Yes. What's your answer? Um, we used to call him White Wheels back when he was in uh, at Auburn. He is pretty fast. He is. He is. Um, I think. Not so much do I believe in Stidman, but the fact that he learned under Tom Brady. I think he's equipped. Justin Herbert. Do you like Herbert? Huh. Yeah, I, I like him. I like him. I think he's very versatile. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't. He wasn't. He wasn't like on my radar at first. But when I started like going back and looking at his plays and um, seeing why he was drafted, I was like, oh, this kid got some skill. Yeah. He got some skill. Good. He can move. He has a good arm. Mm -hmm. He has a good arm. And uh, I would say I'm a Herbert fan.